Okay, greetings, greetings, everybody. Welcome back. I am Vormithrax, here to play some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, that silly little zombie game that we play every once in a while. Let's see. I just had yet another random reboot while uh, right before I went live, so I'm trying to make sure everything is back up and reconfigured properly. That is one pesky problem to track down. Okay, uh, yeah, so, welcome to Noah. <laughs> Noah's Bizarre Battle Arc. That's what we're calling this one. Episode 2. Got a few hours in on uh, Friday. So, what did we do? We accomplished a little bit. Uh, in this one, we are playing a slightly skewed combat mechanic. I never played a combat mechanic before, so I was curious about that. Whose religious zeal has driven him to create an ark for bizarre creatures of the cataclysm? They must build an ark capable of transporting and protecting to each of six different bizarre cataclysm creatures decided by the audience. Uh, I was planning on putting up a straw poll over the weekend and um, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I got distracted. I got distracted. Don't worry. We're not going to make any progress on that particular part of the goal this evening either. So you'll have more chance to weigh in with your hilarious ideas of what, uh, what animals, creatures, bizarre things we should put on the list. For uh, for us to try to go 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 get go harvest go go protect. Uh, do, do, do. Switch my screen around one more time here. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I got some good uh, suggestions already, but. Um, We'll hold off on doing the uh, straw poll. I'll get that put up here in the next day or two. So we're ready for Friday's episode. We might be on pace by Friday. Eh, maybe. It's going to take still a bit of time for me to get everything done. I need to get done initially just to survive the early part of the game. We're going to try to blaze through it as quickly as we can. Um, but again, I'm kind of flip-flopping back and forth. I've decided between uh, my challenges where I do a... Uh, a crazy, silly, hard one like we just came off of. And then I do one that's more new player friendly-ish. I mean, I'm still going to have really difficult themes, but um, the game world will be the default game world, so the uh, the combat and the effects and everything will be more familiar for newer players, uh, not that crazy stuff that I do. Uh, so that's what this one is. So we started this one with a fairly advanced character with a combat mechanic, and then, of course, I tailored them even further to, uh, to, to really highlight a few things, but... Um, we are a coleptic psychosis that used to be called schizophrenia. For those who don't know what that is, uh, it got renamed. We're an imperceptive healer. We're a nomad. We like to move around. So we're, I don't think we're hitting any effects of that yet. Not yet, but it won't be too much longer before we start to get any effect there. It's only day 62, so we're only one day in. Um, what else? Bookworm, fast reader, night vision, optimist, and spiritual. Some fun ones in there. Uh, weaponry, we're at three dodge, four melee. Uh, I think I'm going to switch to a quarter staff. I haven't really done much with a quarter staff. Let's switch to a quarter staff as our primary melee weapon initially. Still bash damage, and uh, that gives us some other opportunities that I wanted to kind of highlight to folks. We had a bit of a discussion about lock picking <laughs> on Friday's episode, and my, my big uh, statement of why bother? And um, we'll, we'll give you another example of why you shouldn't bother here in this one. Uh, other than that, the biggest thing we've got going for us is the uh, the Mechanics 8. We already have Mechanics 8. We got that right out the gate. Uh, I think Mechanics 5 is what the combat mechanic comes with at the beginning. And then I spent the points to pump it up to 8 right at the beginning. So we won't have to grind that one. It's already as high as we'll ever need to take it. Other than that, we've made a little bit of progress in a few others. We're mostly book restricted, so that's the full list of books we currently have available to us. Not a whole lot there to work with. Um, eh, not a whole lot there to work with. So, one more level of fab. One of tailoring, which we can get super easy just by making bandages. Uh, survival is not too important to get much higher than two or three anyway. Uh, electronics is a good one. I need to get electronics up in case we need to hotwire something with uh, eight eight mechanics. And I forget how much electronics you need for hotwiring a vehicle, but that'll open up a few other options. So, but you can see we're kind of limited there. Here's our map for folks that uh, did not catch Friday's episode. The start of this particular challenge. 
Uh, we started here, we stayed here, and uh, pretty much all we've done is we hit the evac shelter there, we checked out the LMOE, and then we did a little bit of running up and down the street here. We tried to make it further into the city, but it got real crowded in there at night, and um, we had to back off several times. So the only places of note that I still really would like to get to are the subway. If there's any chance we can get in there and um, get into the utility room in the lower level so we have an option access to hopefully a jackhammer and then the pharmacy that's pretty much it we've already hit enough houses we have all the basic early game house stuff uh, i'm not too concerned about hitting anything else specifically in here we got plenty of food uh maybe a bike if we don't find a vehicle but uh, a vehicle is my absolute number one priority right now gotta find a vehicle so that's kind of where we're at. We do have NPCs dialed up in this one. I don't plan on using them beyond trying to get the Jabberwocky quest. In case you guys uh, want a Jabberwocky included in the, uh, the arc of animals that we're going to drive around with and try to protect. And, you know, just for general fun of having some NPCs rolling around. Um, but I'm not going to be doing NPC quests beyond maybe one or two of them. Uh, our molly pack. Oh, we got to fix my molly pack. We need some tailoring skills so I can fix my molly pack. We're going to have to switch to uh, a backpack here pretty quick. Oh, that's right. we got the baseball bat. Uh, I st still think even with the baseball bat. No, that's the same bash as um, as the quarterstaff, I believe. 22. A quarterstaff. Bash of, oh, nope, 26. So four more on the quarterstaff. Hmm... Yeah, we'll probably still try it. I need to go down and get a long branch. Go down and smack a few trees. You haven't seen a walkie? Yeah, it's been quite a while. <laughs> I, I, it has been quite a while. Okay, I, and there's there's my gear. So we've we've done pretty well for starting gear. We've got first aid kits and uh, some antiseptic. So we're 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 good and protected from all the early game problems, other than the cold and the flu. I threw a dust mask on to try to to fend those off. Um, and we have, I think, the full set of tools. Yeah, hammer, screwdriver set, wrench, and hacksaw. So we have the initial beginner set. Uh, exacto knife. French knife, candles, all, all sorts of good stuff. Here's our, our stuff pile. Oh yeah, we got the atomic coffee maker. I think if I read the electronics book, I can put together the atomic lamp or night light already with the atomic coffee maker. That way we'll have infinite light. So I'm going to put a focus on uh, getting that electronics levels done. We might stick around here for a day or two, getting all the reading done for what we've got currently. Getting the uh, atomic light would save us a lot of time and hassle all by itself. Um, sewing kits, soldering irons, backpacks, welders. Eh, a little bit of food. I guess not quite as much as I thought, but that includes uh, multiple things of butter <laughs> and, and cheese. So we're, we're going to be okay there. And a lot of random crap. So there you go. That's what we have. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I was working on when we left off on Friday. We need to stick around and heal up those, those, that arm and the leg and, um, we'll go from there. So we've got some bandaging and disinfecting. Uh, maybe I'll go up and get that branch. We'll make the quarter staff first. Yeah, why not? Either hey Dean C. Welcome back. Let's. Do I have five rags just sitting here? Who knows? We'll leave the baseball bat. And let's go get... Let's go get some... Uh, I think we have a small thing of trees right back here. Uh, I should. I need to take the baseball bat, actually. I need something to bash the trees with. Okay, there's a couple of them. That's plenty. More than I'll need. 
Ignore. Continue to ignore. Quarter staff. We'll even gain XP. Turkey spotted. <laughs> Okay, we have a quarterstaff. We'll use that for a bit. I want to show some of the things that are possible with that. The tree hater? Eh, I'm mostly ambivalent about trees other than their tactical opportunities. They have some pretty funny ones available. We are currently overweight, so I'm not too worried about food. Uh, we're hydrated, so we'll ignore that other entry. 152. We're heading into the moon rising, so letting a couple of days pass would be a good thing. We'd get the moon bonus as we uh, travel at night. We do have fairly good night vision already with our 10 perception and the night vision trait. Emote library's not showing. <laughs> oh, who knows with Twitch and emotes right now. I get my emote library, but it might be different on my end compared to yours. I know you're trying to spot. Oh, oh, yep, there he is. There's a pog champ. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just get to reading. Let's get the reading done. I really want to know for sure if I can get the atomic light done really quickly. <laughs> Go away, turkeys! <laughs> God damn, this is so irritating. Uh, it's it's just a lone turkey, you know, just out at the edges of my vision somewhere. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's only 23 away. <laughs> Fine, I'll step over here. I'll step over one. Now the pit bull's getting in the way. No, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. There was no thumping. Electronics 1 complete. Let's go for Electronics 2. Oh, the turkey's coming to get me. He's closer. <laughs> uh, it's the way that he likes to wander back and forth. That's what gets me. Nah, they're not hostile. <laughs> you just get warned regardless if they're hostile or not. Atomic! Atomic coffee! We're not there yet. Hungry! We do need some water. Keep reading. Too dark to read. Yeah, if I had my atomic light, that wouldn't be a problem. Not great to finish reading here next to the uh, the computer terminal, but if you're not aware, you can read next to the computer terminal. The space is adjacent to it. It provides a cloudy light to all these spaces. So it is possible to read by it, but it slows you down. But we finished it. We finished what I needed to, so... Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh, I still can't do it. Must be book dependent? Must be book dependent. So we're missing the recipe. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Still worth doing. I needed to raise that anyway so that uh, if we need a hot wire, I think we can do it now. About 100%. Alright, so coming up on midnight. We're tired. If I sleep now... Let's see. Do I want to sleep now? Or do I want a night raid again? Hmm. Use candles? Nah. Why would I use candles? <laughs> I only had to finish that last tiny bit of reading, so I didn't really care. Uh-oh. Cursed has wandered back in. Either cursed. 
Um, let's have some rations. Oh, my milk went rotten. Wasn't paying attention. What's well, what's next up on my going rotten list? My six cheeseburgers. I have a one day shelf time. Yeah, that's not good. I need to get those slammed down my gullet. So we're going to keep reading. Close this up. We'll crouch. We'll activate a Kindle. And we'll read. Actually, we'll craft. We'll craft. Didn't I make bandages earlier? Where am I at for tailoring? 92%. Yeah, we got close. But didn't get, all, get, get the whole way. Nope. Just that one's fine. Hmm. Do I have adhesive bandages? I've got six. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's healthcare. <laughs> All right, tailoring one is complete. Need to carry all the cough syrup with me. Don't need all that antiseptic either. Well, now we're down to the stuff I don't care a ton about. Let's get survival up. It's only five minutes to read. Two in the morning. Time to get some new bandaging on. You're not fooling me, Coleptic Psychosis. Another book complete. Uh, let's go ahead and have more protein rations. Four o'clock. Getting close to when we want to sleep. I want to preserve the, uh, the night time running around. Which... I think I probably should. I think what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll take a trip straight north... We'll check to see if there's any vehicles at the trailhead, and we'll work our way back towards town. See if we can check these three houses. Depending on how that goes, I still want to roll back around and come at that pharmacy from this direction, and then the uh, subway. I just, I fear the forest. I fear it. <laughs> I fear it for good reasons. Oh, uh, go ahead and do the hand weapons. Not that I use handguns too often. 6 a.m. Excuse me? Oh, I got interrupted. I didn't finish it. <laughs> the itchy and scratchy. Okay. Now it's probably time to sleep. 6 a.m. We'll sleep. Yeah, it's still going to be give me some daylight, but that's fine. I need to put a door back up here so I can <laughs> not wear a, uh, a blindfold. I haven't made one yet, right? I don't think I have. Oh, no blindfold yet. We're going to need one eventually anyway. Duct tape's fine. So much of that running around nowadays. Candle off. So sunlight is streaming down from uh, from the the roof. 
since I had to break that door down to get in there originally. Maybe I have what I need to make the door again. Build a door curtain. Would that work? Repurpose curtains from a window acting as a door. Hmm. Two sheets, a branch, a string. All I really need. Or I could do the door. Uh, Twelve planks. Yeah, let's do the door curtain. Blink. Much better. Oh, that's perfect. I don't even have to use my blindfold. Nah, we haven't decided on the six yet. I totally forgot to put up the straw poll. <laughs> I got busy trying to diagnose my system reboots and lockups and uh, doing some other stuff. Didn't get the straw poll up. All right, off to sleep we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eleptic psychosis, you're so funny. 7.30, we fell asleep. Oops, oops. See, I can never tell nowadays if people are trolling me about Project Zomboid. <laughs> go. I dropped my, my water bottle lid. The frog mother. <laughs> Some of the things, I don't know if you can get them to move. Can you get them frog mother to move? I'm not sure if you can. All right, we got a good sleep. Good full sleep. Still need some more healing. Uh, yeah, we'll throw that on now. All right, kids, anytime you've got a lot of wounds and you have the materials available, make sure you bandage the highest level bandage, eh, depending on your stockpile of supplies and antiseptic. It applies two different healing modifiers. You need them both if you want fast healing. And of course, raise your health care skill as high as you can. So we don't have much health care skill yet. <laughs> Very thirsty. Let's have some water. Always important also to hydrate first. Hydrate, then eat. Hydration has a much, much more severe effect on your character's ability to stay alive than, uh, than eating does. Yeah, no magicalism. We're giving it a break for a little bit. We'll return to it at some point. Mm, Spider Queen series sounds right, but sometimes I have Magicalism activated, even though the focus of the challenge doesn't really involve magic, and I just largely ignore <laughs> the magic portion. So sometimes I just have it on as a default for a few challenges. Because, <laughs> you know, I like troll steak. Troll tartar. Okay, we are pretty much out of things to read that I care about, so we're back on the book hunt for sure. That I could care less about. That's no big deal. So, we have got to get moving. It's only 1718. We could do a little bit of daytime moving around and then wait in place for night when we're actually ready to move into town. Well, let's do a little bit of that. I think I am geared up. We got the oh the Molly pack. I need to swap out the Molly pack for the leather backpack. So I can get this Molly pack. Get this thing reset. I don't have enough um, rags and such without tearing down all of the window coverings, which I've already grabbed most of them. Uh, to really level up tailoring through those crafting methods. 
What are we up to? One? Yeah. Three hours and 43 minutes for one pair of safety glasses. One long string, one plastic bottle. Yeah, we could do that. That would put us in the dark. We'd get some good XP. Nah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, foldable bikes are fun. Uh, so... We're good on weight. Theoretically okay on volume. We'll ditch that. Keep the tools, keep the med gear. And I think that's it, really. We're still pretty much in avoidance mode. We don't want to fight if we don't have to. We've got the uh, quarter staff for blunt knockback type damage. We've got the trench knife if we need to go pokey pokey. Yeah, I think we're good. Don't want to take any food and water. I don't think we will. Actually, let's take uh, a couple of bottles of water. That'll be it. Look out, turkeys. I'm coming through. Yep, skates work just by wearing them. They're your footwear. Roller skates are terrible. I hate using those. I prefer either the roller blades or the heelys. One of those two. Roller skates are kind of the middle road one. Not as good as either of the others. Well, that's regular reindeer. <laughs> I scared the crap out of myself there for a second. Hey there, regular reindeer. We have Zane Deer graphics, but we don't have reindeer graphics. Hmm. On the way back, they'll probably turn into Zane Deer, and I'll meet them in the dark, and they'll eviscerate me. But yeah. Rollerblades and uh, Heelys. I have not seen a Rollerblade, a Heely, or a Roller Skate in the last several adventures. I'm starting to wonder <laughs> about their, their drop rate or lack thereof. No vehicle, unfortunately. We do have a water pump. Anything in the, in the hut. Just the stove. So, nothing useful here. Finding them just fine. Well, alrighty then. It's just RNG slapping me around like it usually does. I just don't find enough exploring the fossils. It's that combined with um, playing on half item drop rate. <laughs> and, you know, double zombies where all the houses are and expanded evolution and, you know, just all those little things that cause me not to be able to just merrily skip my way through a town full of houses. Wonder if there's bullets in that gun. Hey there, Mr. Gun. There might be bullets. Hmm. Still don't want to fight. Let's uh, let's just make a note. Note. Might be bullets. We'll back off and keep looking. Maybe we'll go around this. We'll go north and across and then down. <laughs> and then we'll wait for nightfall or see what we find up here. Oh, crap. Is that an airliner? Helicopter. Oh, big helicopter. Been forever since I saw a big helicopter crash. Not seeing any uh not seeing any big dangerous things. That could be interesting. That's the Osprey. That's the Osprey I, I used to always hope for and I never see anymore. It has been forever and a day. I'm waiting for a Kevlar Hulk or something to pop out. Well, I'm kind of circling it. <laughs> Noah gets angry. All right. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Should be able to use the uh, corpse of the, uh, the vehicle here to 
Oops. How many times I cut myself on the way back to this one and only cargo hatch. What you got for me? A pipe, a vegetarian taco. <laughs> That's the sum total of my uh, my loot from a an Osprey crash. That is some bullcrap. <laughs> that is terrible. Wow. Well. Huh. We got a 120 liter, 6,000 horsepower gas turbine engine and a fair amount of uh, draining JP8 fuel. <laughs> Can't do much with that right now. We are awful close to those houses. Man, I am tempted to try to make a, a run in there. We got a lot of crows in between me and. Me in there, zombie, and I kind of tuck down in between Bill Zombie. Gotta get an axe. Wood axe, wood saw. I won't be able to carry this with the quarter staff. Wood axe is pretty good though. 30 cut, 15 bash. It's terrible to hit bonus, so don't try to use it on um, really quick dodgy things like, you know, predators. Or little tiny things. <laughs> but um, brutal strike, sweep attack, block. Hmm. We will again make note. Let's start crouching our way through the house here. Narrow Spectrum Antibiotics. Is that the... Is that the cheap one? Is that the low power one? I think that's the low power one. Yeah, that's the least. We'll take it anyway. Shouldn't need it, but, you know, just in case. More rotten, pickled fish, pickled meat. Those are small ones, though, right? Yeah, one and two. We'll just eat those in place. Sort by category, please. Take a candle. Don't care about the rest of this stuff. Headlamp? Do I have a headlamp yet? I do. The time to start collecting leather. I don't think I'm going to from these types of sources. This is uh, my favorite. It's my favorite duplex. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? what the hell?
I don't want to get next to that thing. I think I think we'll just ignore the sewer rana. <laughs> <laughs> so many leather pants, golfing gloves, boots, heels, motorcycle boots, everything but the thing I actually want. Forty percent coverage. Ugh. Antibiotics. What books? Baker's Companion and Battle Hammer. More rotten milk. Fresh butter. Cheese pizzas. All right, let's back out of here. Stop crouching. Could pull the zombies over here and run them up and down through the, the wreckage. The wreckage would chop them up too. Go um, run the road a little more. Zombie dies. <laughs> Zombie dies. Hmm. I'm always curious what's killing zombies that's not me. Check the fish to see if it's fake. <laughs> Who knows? It could be fake. Let's go up the road a little bit. Oh, sidewalk. Gas station. Isolated gas station could be good for us. Oh, it's one of those gas stations. But still, chance at some vehicles. And no zombies? No zombies. Even better. What you got? A thermos. Car battery. Faulty engine and no wheels. Faulty starter motor. Everything is no wheels. Uh oh, a moose. Moose is not damaged. Moose will not hurt us. These are Jack and a wheel. Again, no wheels. Apparently, the apocalypse is rough on wheels. Uh oh. Cougar! Cougar could do me some pretty, pretty nasty damage. Gunfire. Well, that's good news. So there's a science lab. That's the old style lab that I prefer. Good to know where one of those is at. We don't have much of an ability to interact with that currently. And unfortunately that Oh, wait, we got another road just north of us there. I'm going to say, unfortunately, that uh, dead ends us again. Well, we got another town. Hmm. 1800. Let's go. Ah, pool. Yuck. Last thing I want to see on the outskirts. Pools and parks. Good that we know we have proximity to another city, though. Hopefully this one's got some bookstores. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> well, there's our guns. There's our guns. Kill that thing. Kill it. Kill it dead. Chase it. Chase that too. So I can walk over and get some guns. Did I bring any straps with me? I don't think I brought any straps with me. I meant to make some straps just for this occasion. Otherwise, I have to <laughs> I have to drag guns all the way back. Really, I guess I only need one, and then the uh, the magazines. I'm gonna stay at the far outer edges here. Make sure they're actually hurting that thing. So what we need to happen is we need the soldiers to kill the dispatch. And then the soldiers to chase the Graken, but not kill the Graken until I come over and get all the all the guns and ammo. Oh, tell me that's a belt fed. Oh, there's an M249. <laughs> I just need one of these rifles, and hopefully this has got a, a good supply of ammo. M27, and the rest are M4s, right? Yep. All right, this is uh, this is our one of our big opportunities right here. Oh, stupid robot, don't hit the Graken. Hey now, Graken, you're facing the wrong direction. You're going to drag them right at me. This batch has got a little ways to go. Yeah, not good. Not good. <laughs> Damn you, Graken. I think that one soldier peeled off. The rest of them are still over there. Yep, the dispatch isn't dead yet. Just about. Then the soldiers are going to come after me, I think. I don't think there's anything else closer. Ah, if only that Graken and that soldier hadn't peeled off. Dispatch is still up. All right, dispatch is dead. Where are you guys going? South? South is a fine answer. Go south. So we got an ambulance to the north with some items and two of the baskets. Oh, please tell me I'm going to get free access to the gun of my choice and a whole bunch of ammo. That's... that an ambulance and a fire truck collided? Ambulance and an ambulance, I think. Yeah, two ambulances. Might be items right here that I can't quite see. Hey there, Umber Sun! Oh, beautiful. Well, about a 30. Problem now is I'm also going to have to drop my quarterstaff. Let's... need to take a look at each of these if I can. That we're just going to unload. Load that. So we have the magazine. That's so we have two magazines. All right, here's the one I'm really hoping for. Ah, oh, 15 rounds out of 500. Damn it, that had such potential. <laughs> such, such, such potential. A Mossberg 590A1 plus 2. Which two do you have? Got the sights mount and the bottom mount. Huh. Alright. M1014. All right, so let's see. Unload that, load that. Then ditch the two empty mags. I don't need that many. Load that, ditch the linkages. 
So, we've only got uh, 59 rounds out of all that. And a few more. <laughs> and four forty one versus forty, thirty rounds, hundred moves. Recommended burst strength of 9 versus 12. Base aim speed the same. Same semi-auto and auto. But why is the price 5400 instead of 2400 <laughs> What is so great about the M27 IAR? I think there's some difference in the mod arrangement, but ugh, I don't use very many of those anyway. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm taking the M4. So, unload the M27. There, dang dung. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. I need to, uh, I need to three moose salute somebody for a very generous donation. It didn't come through the, the splash screen. I'm not sure if it uh, was intentional <laughs> or if my notification system is still not working on that. Oh, you transport any kind of creatures anyway? Well, that's the fun part. Trying to figure out how to do that. All right, let's uh, get the... I also need to know the difference between these two shotguns. I don't think I've ever seen this shotgun before. Mostly the same. One extra round in the 590A1. Higher dispersion. Way lower volume, a little bit lower weight. Yeah, let's take the fun looking one. We'll take the Mossberg. Unload the 1014. And so we're going to take that and that. Alright, I'm going to leave these over here for the moment. We're going to go check out the ambulance real quick, see if I can get into that without getting too much notice. And we'll come back down and grab the, uh, grab the weapons on the way out. Oop, zombie runner, pretty far north. Let's see if we can keep him out of sight. A scalpel! Another first aid box. Yep, we do have items possible. I think I'm going to get spotted if I go for that one, though. Oh, scalp scalpel and stethoscope in uh, <laughs> conjoined wrecked ambulances. Those are the two, uh, not too super rare, but two uh, tools that I always look for. So we've marked off multiple other tools. Don't need the exacto knife anymore that we've got the scalpel. Why I get a, a stethoscope anymore, I don't know either, since I never use it. Uh, let's see. This house is boarded up. A 
Car dealership. That'd be nice to steal a fresh car from, but I think there's problems getting it out of there. Cleanly. What I probably should do is back off while we've got a safe point to do it. Get those weapons back. And then come back out again. Don't want to get into a situation where I don't get out of here with these weapons. Actually, let me rethink this. I can I can make straps for these if I go into that house. Let's try that instead. Let's try to get into this house and get some materials to make straps. Then we'll come back and strap them up, and I'll carry them around with me. Give me three. Oh, I should have done it next to the uh, table there. Oh, I almost got excited. I saw heels. <laughs> the good old Jedi cloak. Do I want the Jedi cloak? 222 two, two on head, torso, arms, hands, and legs. Archery for kids. Duelist Daniel. Not much I care about. Hello. Welding tank. Oh, it's a perfect condition motocross bike. <laughs> well, now the problem is it has no storage capacity. But hey, it's a perfect condition motocross bike. All right, we'll uh, we'll come back to look at that in a sec. Leather chaps. Sure, leather chaps. We're going to be heading back anyway. Duffel bag. Let's slip on the duffel bag. A second atomic coffee maker. Hmm. Oops, getting a little warm, am I? <laughs> that Jedi cloak. Goodbye, Jedi cloak. You're too warm. I forgot about that. Didn't check the uh, the warmth value there. It's ridiculously warm. I think I'm going to check the front area there. See if we can uh, head over to... Oh! Make me break something to get in there, huh? So... I ride this down to the, the uh, guns. I might get spotted on the way out. I haven't strapped them yet. I'm gonna go back and strap those first. Actually, I have a duffel bag now. Nope. <laughs> All right, uh, activate. Strap. Fine. Come here, Mossberg. Activate strap again. Ah, that's right. Unload the Mossberg. Activate strap for the third time. Where? Uh, 
Ugh, that. We're a moss bird. Really? You're gonna make me do it that way? Oh my god. Now I don't like you as much. Okay, we got the two guns. We got uh, a full mag. Let's go ahead and reload one of these other ones. That one. So, full mag. Two more full mags. So we've got 91 rounds of uh, 223. And, I don't know, 10 rounds for the Mossberg. We're also overweight slightly. But, if we've got a working motorbike, that will speed things up tremendously. Yeah, 1.0 item spawns always throws me for a loop. <laughs> so, first let's make sure we've got everything. That's enough gas, enough battery. Everything's in perfect condition. There is no security system, so it's definitely drivable. So we just need to open the garage door, zip on out of here, head to that gas station down south to fill it up. Um... Let's grab, while we're here, gallon jug of ammonia. I need, or should, go chase down those soldiers, shoot them in their faces, get more gear. Hmm. Go gas up the bike first and get go back and dump all this stuff off. Well, there's one of them. <laughs> of course he's hanging out here. Alright, I guess we'll deal with him. 